want to learn object tracking in real time using OC Sort. Watch this tutorial and learn how you can track multiple objects in real time with few lines of code. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into an exciting new approach in computer vision called Observation Centric Sort, or OC Sort for short. If you're interested in tracking multiple objects in videos, like people in a crowd, cars on a street, or athletes on a field, this is a must watch. We are currently at the official GitHub repo of OC Sort. We'll start by looking at the key ideas and problems this method solves by reviewing the research paper that introduced Oak Sort. And finally, we'll get ready to jump into the code implementation together. What is OC Sort all about? OC Sort stands for Observation Centric Sort. It's a new method for tracking multiple objects in videos. The main idea is to focus more on what the camera actually sees, called observations, instead of just relying on predictions about where objects might be. What previous problem were the authors facing before introducing the topic? Older trackers like SORT were struggling with a few major issues. 1. Linear motion assumption. They relied on Kalman filters that assume objects move in straight lines, which isn't realistic in dynamic environments. Two. Error accumulation during occlusion. When objects are temporarily hidden, trackers made guesses about their position, which led to compounding errors. 3. Estimation-centric design. The system trusted its predictions more than the actual observations from the camera, leading to identity switches and poor tracking accuracy. What's new about OC Sort? OC Sort changes things up by being observation-centric. That means it pays more attention to the real detections from the video. Observation-Centric Reupdate, ORU. When an object reappears after being hidden, OC Sort uses its actual observed position to correct past prediction errors. It builds a virtual trajectory between the last known and current position to recalibrate tracking. Observation-Centric Momentum, OCM. This leverages the object's movement direction based on real observed data. It helps the tracker better associate new detections with the correct object, reducing identity switches. What are the benefits? Robust to occlusion. It can recover from objects being blocked or hidden. Handles complex motion. Works well even when objects don't move in straight lines. Fast and simple. Runs in real time and is easy to use. Works across different data sets. Performs well without needing lots of tweaks. What are the limitations? Association using IOU. It matches objects based on box overlap which can fail with fast-moving objects or low frame rate videos. Needs parameter tuning? Some components require careful tuning for optimal performance. No appearance features. It doesn't use visual cues to distinguish objects, which can lead to identity switches in crowded scenes. My Honest Take OC Sort is a smart upgrade to the classic sort tracker. It's practical, easy to use, and fixes some big problems with older methods. But it could be even better if it used appearance cues, like color or texture, to help tell objects apart, especially when things get crowded or messy. That's a quick overview of observation-centric sort and the research behind it. Now let's move to its code implementation to see how you can perform it on your own. To implement OC Sort, we start by installing libraries, which are Boxmo and Ultralytics. After that, I've created a helper function for this notebook to visualize the sample video I'm going to use here. Now I'm going to use this sample video of multiple moving people to implement tracking using OC Sort. To implement OC sort using Boxmot, we just have to use this command line where tracking method is OC sort provided with YOLO model, REID model name, and path to video. You can also provide it with target classes you want to track. Here I am tracking people, so provided zero according to YOLO's Cocoa indexing. 
Now run this to see the inference. For next, I'm going to track cars. For that, I'm using this video, and now let's run OC sort and check the inference. Now let's track multiple planes using OSort. This video is going to be used for that. Now let's perform tracking. Next, we're going to take a video where multiple people appear in small size, which makes tracking difficult to perform. Now check OC sort here. For next, I'm going to see how well OC sort performs on athletes who are running. Let's run tracking on this video and see the result. For last, we will see how well OC sort performs on objects which overlap a lot. For this, I'm using this video of a horse. Now let's test OC sort here. With this, our tutorial on OC sort is over. For more computer vision or machine learning related tasks, you can check our GitHub, where you will find everything in one place.